3.2.3 Our function to be differentiated is f of x equals to x to the third power plus 2x instead of the parentheses times e to the x. This is the product of two functions, especially we have a polynomial times an exponential function, we must use the product rule. There's no way for us to simplify first before we can you know, take the derivative. Anyways, the way that I'm going to do it is, let me label the first part, which is this parentheses here, as my choice of the little f function, and the second part is this, g, right? And by the way, this little f, it's not the same as this original f. This little f in red is just my notation. Now we are going to see how can we construct the derivative. Let me write down the choice of f on the side, which was x to the third power plus 2x. x to the third power plus 2x. And my g function is e to the x. You see how I break down into two parts. And now I'm going to differentiate f. Look at x to the third power, the derivative of x to the third power is 3x squared. The derivative of positive 2x is plus 2. And now look at this, look at the g function is e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So now we are ready. Here is the ingredient. I'm going to show you how you can construct the derivative with the product rule. Perhaps I'll put a parenthesis first around the f. So you first pair up this this times that. And this is going to be the original derivative, right? Like this. The result is going to be parentheses x to the third power plus 2x times e to the x. You just pair them up together. Third power plus 2x e to the x. So this is the first part. And you add, you associate adding with product, all right, for derivatives. The second part is you pair this one, which is e to the x, with that. And once again, I will also need a parenthesis around this 3x squared plus 2. But let me write down e to the x times 3x squared plus 2. All right, is there anything that we can do to somehow condense our formula here? Yes, we can, because e to the x is in common, so we can factor out the e to the x because the e to the x is in common, we can factor it out. Let me do it right here. I factor out e to the x. And now let's look at what's the leftovers. For the first part, I have x to a third power plus 2x. For the second part, I have adding 3x squared plus 2. Alright? Nothing wrong with this, but usually we like to write the powers in the decreasing order. So overall, e to the x, parentheses, x to the third power, there's nothing else I can combine with, but I do see the x squared right here. So I will still say plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. That's all. This is the derivative of the original function that we want.